Okay, so I wanted to show you real quick kind of the way I do this. This is sped up, but I'll kind of talk you through it as we're going. Uh, it took me about, I don't know, 15, 20 minutes to paint this. So um, I have it sped back up here, so you don't have to spend 15, 20 minutes <laughs> before me explaining what I'm doing. So basically what I did was uh, started with a nice mid-grade tone in the background, and then from there just drew a very simple shape that anyone could draw out. And again, for this one, I'm not going for over-realistic or anything, just kind of playing around with different painting styles and techniques on my iPad. And then um, going with real uh, intense colors as well. But essentially, I started laying in the blues, the greens, and then um, some of the browns and some lighter blues to represent like maybe some of the uh, surf underneath that you could see, some of the, uh, maybe the rocks and, and mud and stuff, or in the blue from the sky. Uh, the main thing with this that you want to do when you're laying these out is make sure that you're painting to the contour of the wave. So you'll notice that my um, strokes follow the pattern of the wave. And then um, here I'm just adding in some white and uh, making the, using the colors around it to pull in the different shades and let it blend in. I do this the same way when I'm doing acrylics or oils. Um, and then uh, just blending it around. So do it. Basically what I used for this was the palette knife the oil brush, um, airbrush just a little bit, which you'll see here on the waves when it turns purple, right there, and um, blend it in. I don't like using the airbrush too much because sometimes it's hard to blend in. Depends on how much uh, oil you have underneath it, quote unquote. Um, so then I just kind of took it and blended around and played around with different colors. You'll see like that stripe that just popped through the center there, and there'll be another one here in a minute on the side. My iPad does that on occasion. I'm not sure why, but it does. It's just kind of annoying. Um, but yeah, just really playing around with different techniques, uh, trying to have fun, basically, is what I'm doing here. And playing around with the different highlights and stuff. And so, you know, see there's no of those lines, and so I have to delete it. And uh, just basically lay it out and start smushing the paint around with the palette knife, uh, practicing some of the different techniques, uh, like putting these whites in here, for example. Uh, when I was putting them in there, I was trying to get the different highlights from the waves to give a little motion to it and um, trying also, you know, maybe foam creeping up the wave and, and around and so forth. So, uh, right here, this darks that I'm adding in, that's, I'm using the marker tool. That's a really good way to kind of subtly set stuff back and play around with it. You can also do, um, you can do it differently in the desktop version, which I have, uh, using the watercolor brush and using layers which is actually the way I prefer it, but in the iPad you can't really do that. It doesn't have as much functionality as the desktop does, obviously. But um, it's pretty, still pretty well responsive uh, as far as that goes. So here just adding in some different rocks and some dark spots down the bottom to kind of push it around. Um, and then in just a moment you'll see me play around with the whites uh, for the foam and everything else like I was talking about. And I, I used kind of the crayon, the pencil and other stuff right there it is. Uh, but I just didn't like the way it was blending in, so I kind of stopped. Alright, so so I just kind of carried it through here. I'm trying out a couple different things, I'm trying to find what I like. Um, some things blend better than others. And so it's really just kind of what I'm doing right here is playing around with it, I'm trying to figure out what parts that I like and eventually going back to the oil brush, which is really my uh, original tool. That I wanted to use, but I wanted to get a little bit finer um, detail with like the pencil or the crayon and so forth. So I'll play around with this for a little bit more and get some streaks in the water and foam, and then I'll start on the sky here in just a second, uh, which you'll see. Uh, at the top, I'm just trying to put some a little bit more cast light. And here's the uh, starting the sky. One of the reasons to start with the background being a mid-tone is the fact that. Um, you can use it to become your sky. So what I did here was through in the uh, chalk pastel and then I'm going back over with the palette knife to soften it up some and um, just kind of blend it out. So I highly recommend doing it this way. It makes it easier to do clouds. You, know, you can get a lot more gradations and a lot more just uh, variations of the clouds by having the mid-tone already done. And you can throw in some lighter colors to make highlights. 
this is how I started doing my uh, oil painting and my acrylics and uh, my traditional ones was by doing it this way was painting in the negative spaces to make the clouds instead of trying to paint clouds and it really turned out looking better so I started doing it in Art Rage and uh, really like it and you'll see a couple spots here and there where it kind of lags uh, my iPad app kept crashing so there's a few spots here and there where it seems like kind of everything stops and then it goes back to doing it so But then you just throw in some few darks uh, here and there. And I didn't want to put too much dark in the corners as far as that goes, because then they become too stormy. But I did want to add a little variation. And then here in a second, I'll start throwing in some blues. And then as you do that, you instantly have a break in the clouds. So it just makes it a really easy way to do it. And what I'll do in the desktop version is I'll take these clouds and kind of round them out with the airbrush and with um, the knife tool a little more. But for this, like I said, I didn't want this to be overly realistic or, um, you know, too complicated or anything. I just really kind of practice more than anything else and kind of show some ways to get some thoughts down on paper and get some ideas done. So that's kind of what I'm doing here. about to round out, I've got about another 15-20 seconds left so if you like this or you have any questions put it down in the uh, bottom in the comment section and I will do my best to get back to you and we can see it um, right here just trying to look at some ideas for adding foam in as well but, but yeah put the information down there I'll do my best to get back to you as soon as possible and answer whatever questions but hopefully you got some out of this hopefully you're able to see um, what I did here so Thanks a lot. Have a great day.